month in December, sparking good time. So today I got a package. All you hear just heard in my head was Steve from Blue Scoo I just got a letter. I just got a letter. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh, it says I just tear here. So I placed this order on Amazon. And um, I think who wants to look at it. Okay. Let me open up my Amazon so I can tell you prices and all that good stuff. All the good stuff. Should have done this before I started. I'm so sorry. I'm a bad monkey. Um, orders. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing I ordered was this big. Oh crap. Now I need the scissors. Love how they have scissors inside of it. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm so excited. Okay, so most of you know that I um grab one of these. That I tend to uh, wrap my canvas with uh, this chalkboard. No, they call it whiteboard tape. Is what they call it. And I had gotten a bunch of these uh, back when I used to have a huge whiteboard because uh, I had the kids all running around doing 10 million different things. And so I had like six rolls of this left over. And so when I started diamond painting at first, I was using washi tape, but the washi tape would roll up. The washi tape would, I don't know. It just, it was not, it was not for me. And it was expensive. And like then trying to find one that matched it, I just get, it was like, no, I can't. So I was just using this, and I've decided that I like this better than any other option for uh, prepping my canvas and sectioning. So I went to order more, and then I found this set. As you can see, it's the same uh, width, and this is uh, the one fourth inch wide, and that's my favorite. I'm going to, have to give you all these little papers. Got my trash can. Get you. Okay, so and in this kit, I got five rolls of black, and these are 55 yards long each. That's a lot. Then I got the roll of white. I got two different shades of yellow. I have like a butter yellow and more of a golden yellow. I have this peach color and a pink color. I have red and green and two shades of blue. We have the lighter, like a, I would say like primary blue, and then this is the darker, more like a royal blue. So that is four, eight, nine, so 15 rolls of this at 55 yards a piece. And I paid, how much did I, how much did I pay for this? dollars so I paid a penny a foot a penny a foot I will probably not have to buy tape for a long time I'm so excited and look I could wear it as a bracelet it actually would be, be nice when I'm taping up to be able to have one on my wrist and it came with a pair of little scissors um you know what that's about um, I have a grandbaby that might like those. He's old enough for skizzers now. So, I got this. So, this is a very inexpensive alternative to washi tape to prep your canvas, section your canvas, all that stuff. Also good for using on uh, the whiteboards. If you need to make your own little sections or grids or all that stuff, this works on that too. This is what it's made for, but I like it for diamond painting. I'm excited. Okay, 
And I have colors, not just black. So I'm super, super excited. Now, next up on our list is this is the Quake Hold. It's museum putty. Now, basically, when you're ordering the scented uh, putties from all these wonderful ladies who do a great job, uh, they're basically getting this stuff and adding scent, color, whatever, to it. But this is literally what it is. And Trinity is allergic to everything. And sometimes I really don't want it to smell like anything. And so I just got me a set of the museum putty. Um, and this will last for a long time. And the museum putty, um, this was $3.97 and it is um, 2.64 ounces or 75 grams. And I just got the neutral color. So pretty neat. I've never used this before, and um, but I was I had some left over, and so I would go back and forth between my Randis Crafty uh, putty and um, I had left over from doing a job, and there's really no difference except I don't have to deal with Trinity's eyes burning. So I got that, but then I saw this when I was over there. I saw this. Now this is the Edison R and D mounting putty. It was going to let me open it. And this one cost me $6.99. And this is two ounces times three pieces. I'm assuming that each one of these is two ounces. That's about it. And so what I liked about these is they're perforated. So I could just pull off a square and then I'm pretty sure that that's almost exactly how much I need to fill my seven placer. Right? So I like that idea. And it had, uh, they had different variations, but I got the one with the three colors because I wanted to test to see if this one or this one um, leaves residue. Um, let me find a, here, my dumb paint pen. I really don't, yeah, I need to change this one out anyways. It's dirty. It's a dirty. So let's clean this bad boy out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In California, I'm noticing that since I'm running my air conditioner a lot more, that my putty is uh, drying up a lot faster than it did in the winter. I'm assuming it's because of the air conditioner, you know, pulling the moisture out of the air and all that good stuff. But that's my trash can. So there's that. Oh, where's my little... Gender nail file. Is it right there? Wait. Nope, that is not it. I don't know. Not in my little cart. Okay, just scratch that off. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So one square is actually more than what needs to go in a seven placer. Well, okay, I'll, I'll, I will let this go on record. This little seven placer I've been using for a while and have filed down the ridges, so it might not be as deep as a fresh seven placer. I'll say that. So let me see. Oh, I know. I'll just use some of these dead drills. These are drills out of my 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 uh, vase of done. Yeah, but where can I put them? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Where's my my glue runner? It's right here, I think. My glue runner was right here. Okay. 
there's glue runner, so there's adhesive down on that. Let's see. Fix them up. Ha ha! I'm not seeing any residue. Yeah, that works good, y'all. Oh, and they did have um, the option. Oh, I broke it. And so, they, and so this set was six dollars and ninety nine cents. So seven dollars divided by three, a little over two dollars a pack. But they have um, a three pack of all of the just this color. They have a three pack of all, and that's still six ninety nine. Yeah, they're all six ninety nine. Nine no matter what you do. They have a three pack of all pink. They have a three pack of all blue. Or they have the variety pack. And I got the variety pack so I can show you all everything. But the pink is not leaving residue. And I am going to go ahead and pause this video because I'm getting ready to uh, put uh, drills down on, um, what do you call that? Oh, Lord have mercy. What is the name of that kit? I guess I can just do it with you right now. Fox Wisdom. Did not remember this kit for the life of me. And I want to see on these uh, square white drills, is this, is this going to be good? Is this going to be any good? And um, as you can see, I have prepped and sectioned this canvas with this uh, tape. Love it. It's so much more inexpensive. Oh, 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 what am I doing? I forgot I was doing this one in section and not horizontal strips. Get the ruler, get the ruler. Can you see the bottom? Yeah, okay. So, boop, make sure you're zoomed or what do you call that? They called um, in focus. Okay. Cut along that. I like to use my little. Um, okay. Like get over there. All right, that's there. You get back in your home. You come over here. Open up, box wisdom. Open up, open up. And so all of these, <laughs> this crap ton of. Uh, I'm throwing. I'm already throwing drills. Do you see that, y'all? So, uh, museum putty, poster tack, basically same thing. Um, if you like the center ones, go for it. Have a good time. Um, but for those of you that have like sensitivities, like Miss Trinity, you can easily get this unscented. Or if you're on a budget and you're like, I cannot afford that, then this is another option. Okay, we can go closer. Hold on. Okay, I am not seeing any residue on my drills. I want to make sure y'all see and make sure that you see that I'm not wiping them off or anything like that. Look at that. Oops. So, this is your one option like I said this is like oh I forgot let me do this one first this one is your cheapest option um, it is seven dollars for six ounces um, and this one is three what three dollars and ninety seven cents for two ounces well two point six ounces but, so this is actually cheaper than this, and I really like the way this is perforated for, or perforated more because uh, it's easier to tear off and all that. So um, I am going to leave the links for all three of these things I bought in the uh, description below. And I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not an affiliate with Amazon. I don't have like a, a I don't get paid from them. If you use my links, I just try if I find something that helps save me money or that I think is a, a, 
a viable option to help you in some way, I like to share it with you. Um, I'm real happy. I'm real happy with it. I'm real happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. Like there is no residue at all. No residue at all. Uh, I am using my Elizabeth Ward storage system. I got that off Amazon as well. Um, I will link. To, link I'll, I'll give you the link to that below as well if you have not been able to find it. Uh, last time I checked, they were in stock. Um, it is my preferred. Um, I don't know why. It's just it's one I like the most. And um, if I have a choice, I'm going to choose that one every time. Uh, but then um, there are other affordable options like the Tic Tac containers, the screw top uh, glass bottles. Um, there's these new little uh, ones I showed on my channel not too long ago that you like squeeze aside the little cubes. And they're um, less expensive than the Harbor Freight ones. Uh, but these are my preference. But if I'm having to go based on money, I'm going to go with the little um, squeeze side ones. I think I got two trays with 30 cubes per tray, so a total of 60 cubes. For like $9.99 and then I don't like the uh, the, the suitcase ones because it's too bulky and um, I have too many kits normally going on at the same time for that level of bulk in my life it, it just it ain't it ain't it for me so but I just wanted to show you what I saw what I ordered that it works um, how I use it and make sure that we didn't have residue on the colored ones because I was a little worried about that that's why I ordered the one with the colors in it uh, because I was like hmm and now I do not use um, putty or wax in my uh, single placer. Just so you know, I use the mini glue dots. I have heard a lot of people talk about the micro glue dots. I'm not a fan of the micro glue dots because I have to put multiple dots in the uh, brass tip single placer. But when I do uh, the mini dot, I only have to put one in. So for me... I'd rather do that than shove and fight and not know. I'm just going to do one. And I got these off of Amazon too. I'll put the link in there. I don't think they were $5. Let me see. Where is that? I don't even know how to open this. Um, where are my orders? Oh, it might have been a long time ago. Um, so, uh, blue dots. Mini. The micro, those are one uh, eight clear for a, a roll of three twenty five. Okay, so those are one eight, and these are three sixteen. That is not a big difference. Um, so this one is the one. That says pack of six hundred. Where's the pack of three hundred? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so on Amazon for this, the pack of 300 dots, um, it is, and it's one of the fishies, um, the 300 piece is $8.02. And um, that comes out to three cents a dot. Three cents a dot. Now you can buy it in bigger sets, but like I've had this one so long, I, it was easier to search Amazon than it was to um, go in my orders. Uh, they last a long time. If you use blue dots, they last a long time. And uh, putty seems to last a long time. And so if you are looking for a different option, those are some options. My thing was, is like, I have to be very careful, like on the washing. Because I will turn into a, I have a collecting problem. And a lot of us who, uh, diamond paint, you know what I'm talking about. You know how big our stashes are. Come on. Come on. And I know that I have already previously had a bunch of uh, washi tape because I do um, planning. And all I could think was is, oh my gosh, you're going to give yourself another whole reason to overbuy, and I'm trying to live a more simple, um, less commercial, I guess, life. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. Well, all the money I get, 
on stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to like make. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to. I, I like, I have probably still to this day ten to fifteen thousand dollars worth of scrapbooking supplies, tools, and stuff. Um, I have not worked on a scrapbook. Since before Trina graduated high school and she's 22. So, I have to be very careful that I don't let myself go all in and wash the tape with something I could have very easily, very, very easily let myself become another addiction. Because, oh, I can use it for my planners, I can use it for my diamond painting. But then I start thinking, oh, well, but I need this. Uh, I need something with more of a this printer or that printer. Oh, that I don't have anything that matches this kit. So um, I need to buy more. No, I'm good. I need to stop that mess. I need to stop that mess. And I've learned that about myself. And you might be one of those people who are really good at not, not letting yourself go overboard. But I... I can very, 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 very easily have problems. <laughs> I like to correct things. And if it's pretty, I really like it. And if it's pretty, and if you use it, you can't use it again, um, I have a big, big uh, FOMO problem, fear of missing out or whatever. Um, I'm like, I can't use that sticker. If I use that sticker, I can never use that sticker again. Um, but let's not talk about how many sticker books I have from Happy Planner that I haven't even really used because I was like, I can't use a sticker. If I use a sticker, I'll never be able to use that sticker again. What if, I'm, what if, what if this is not the right place to put the sticker? Like, it, it's a problem, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. So that's why I switched to the Etsy. And I uh, I buy the printable kits. So then I don't have to worry. Because if I want to use that sticker again, I just buy it. Or I just print another uh, print another sheet on my little sticker sheets. And it's a little bit more work on my part. But it's less money out in my pocketbook, if that makes sense. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend my money on dumb paint kits. And um, for a while there, I almost went, I almost went ham on the diamond paint pens. But I had bought quite a few. But then I realized that I always came back to this one. Nine times out of ten, I was going to pick up this one. And then I said, why are you buying these other ones? They're just going to sit in this container looking pretty at you. Now, I, I mean, if you collect them, that's good for you. Great. Have a ball. But I know me, and I don't know when to say when. I have an addictive personality. And if it's pretty, it's worse. So for me, it was in my best interest to say, okay, enough's enough. And then I implemented my little, you know, no buy thing going on. Uh, four quarter or four months, one each quarter of 2023 to help bring myself back in. Because I've already put my stash video up in March. And um, I just started diamond painting on Amazon stuff in I think it was August, and I didn't buy my first roll kit. I think until September, like a premium kit, and and now 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 there's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So my thing is, is I'm going to be looking for ways I can redistribute my spending, so I can still have the longevity of the putty, the longevity of the the glue dots. And the ability to prep and section my canvas, but it's not taking bigger chunks out of my diamond painting budget. And I have more money in my diamond painting budget to buy the things I truly want, which are new kits. Because, let's be honest, I don't know about y'all, but I was a very, very, very bad, 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 bad girl for the uh, Black Friday, oh, Black Friday then, Cyber Monday event from Diamond Art Club. And now, I'm filming this video on... May 30th, and this coming up weekend, this coming up weekend is the five-year anniversary sale, and they're dropping 40 new kits, and I'm like, you dirty dogs, so I'm super excited, and like Dreamer Designs right now, for Memorial Day, they have like, buy two, get one free or something, or buy one, get one 55% off, I don't know, I got some kind of notification, and I was like, nope. Not, not, I'm not, I'm not buying right now. So I just, I just bought um, some stuff 
um, from Domnar Clip. And I uh, bought some stuff from Amazon. And I bought something from a new budget company. And I'm like, okay, your diamond painting budget is done. You were done for a little bit. You need to wait. Wait. Stop it. I just need to stop it. We just get too, I just get too involved and wound up and I want everything. I want it all. And it's just part of being, I guess, human, but I, I'm tired of doing that to myself. So I'm not, I'm not doing it to myself no more. I'm, I figured if I could quit smoking, I could quit overspending, right? Right? I've given up a lot of things in my habit. Bad husband. Husbands. Um, just bad situations. Addictions. Gave up sugar. Gave up smoking. So, I can give up overspending. It's all in my head. So, I thought, some of you are out there going willy-nilly with the spending. Or just don't have the budget to spend on the more price or stuff. That this would just be an option for you. To get something where you're still getting, like the easy use on the putty, if you're a putty person, you're a putty person. If you're a, a glue dot person, you're a glue dot person. If you're a wax person, you're a wax person. I have, um, I have all of the, what is that called? Where'd it go? I have all of the different waxes, putties. There's just the Dollar Tree poster tag. It works. Different types of... I don't like the gray uh, museum putty stuff. I got, I got all the kinds. All the kinds. And this is not everything that's in the bucket. But. This is the next notion. I'd love the bottle. So I'm in, I don't even care. And it's Love Spell. And if you're from the 90s. <laughs> it smells like Love Spell, y'all. Then I got my. 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 Um, patty wax. They smell so good. But when I open them. Trini gets all mad. And my tin. And I'm just not a wax person. I don't know if I've even used this one. This is Amanda's Craft, the chocolate. No, I used that one. That's the chocolate mint. Then I have, oh, see, now I smelt it. Now I love the smelly good stuff, but not enough. Not enough. Not enough. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make better choices. I gotta make good choices. So I'm gonna tell y'all, make good choices. Spend your money where you want. It's your money. Do what you want. As long as you're not hurting nobody and you can pay your bills, do what you want. It's, not, it's, it's your money. But if you're out there and you're searching for ways to save some money because you're like, I can't buy all the kits I want and all these uh, tools and accessories are breaking the bank. Here's some options. A different option from wash tape and a different option from uh, the specialty putties and um, whatnot. There you go. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know I ramble. I'm so sorry. Um, and if you haven't already, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to the video. It'll make my day. We're on it. Uh, we're on a giveaway goal. I'm at 180 some subscribers, and we've got to get to 250. So we're aiming for the 250, and then there's going to be another giveaway. And then um, if you wouldn't mind, on your way out, hit the like button. If you haven't already done so already, I'd appreciate it. I'm not real worried about that bell for notifications because if you're like me, I don't want my phone blinging at me all the time. And um, I have to go turn my notifications off because it just annoys me to no end. When it's ding, 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 I, no, I'm good. And then um, leave me a comment. Have you tried the whiteboard tape? Are you addicted to washi tape? Uh, are you looking for more inexpensive options on um how to make this a more affordable hobby. Do um, you think I'm crazy and I'm taking away the fun? I don't know. Talk to me, people. 
talk to me. I appreciate it. But anyways, love y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye.